One thing about creating your own piece of nature in your yard, doesn't matter how large it is or small, you can attract the flying insects, the things you like to watch, by your choice of plants, Andrew. Absolutely. Hi, Mark. The, uh, you know, there's quite, you know, quite a selection between the annuals, perennials, and, and shrub that you can really plant to attract a lot of the... The butterflies you know, the and, butterfly the and the hummingbirds are hummingbirds love especially. It. Uh, you know, the hibiscus, these are some of the new varieties, some of the new proven winners. Look at that. And the, they, you know, they have, there's a whole list of uh, hibiscus, extremely colorful, and a lot of them now are also becoming seedless. Hummingbirds love them. How about the agastache? The ag agastache, you know, several different varieties of these from a, a real deep blue to a Butterflies pink. and hummingbirds. They now, what about that. the butterfly shrubs? And the butterfly shrubs, these are, they both, uh, hummingbirds and butterfly both love these. And they're low growing now with the and, new varieties. All the new varieties are much lower grower, much dense, really great. Of course, you know, hydrangeas. Hydrangeas, yeah, this day is, lilies. And this is a, this is one of the cletra. This is one of the real, real, Beautiful. you know, the, the hummingbird cletra, the hummingbirds love this and also the and butterflies it love great. it. Of course, you got, you know, wygelias. They love these red flowers with a deep throat. That's what the hummingbirds really go for. So bring the and butterflies and the hummingbirds to your yard, and Angelo's got the answers. Thank Thanks, you, Angelo.